PTSD. Everybody knows about it, but I want to highlight this. For every soldier that goes to war, there's 10 children back home that's going through complex trauma in the crib. So if every soldier comes back messed up, but for every one of them, it's 10 of us. And this is rarely talked about, so we want to shed some light on this. Um, anybody in the jail or institution, um, this, this motivation for now and for them, but this motivation for us, because this is a very important message that I'm trying to spread and we should try to spread because I know personally about everybody that I know they have done some wrong, but everybody may not have the support. But those that have and those that may have opinions that may have a bad decision, they all still deserve to protect us. If I'm the one to operate with this gun, which way is going to be the safest way to do it? And you know what? Sometimes it is there is no safe direction. So don't play with the gun if you don't have to. Leave it alone. That ain't the right day to show people you got a gun. It ain't the right moment to clean it. Just need to wait. Right? But safe is situation. And it is not corny to be safe. I know here in Virginia, um, so, some politicians are wanting to give voting rights back to, to, to people, but not the gun rights back, right? If we trust people to vote and make decisions, then we should also trust those people to defend themselves. It has to, has to be first, because the last thing we need is two casualties right there, right? So when things happen, generally you don't have to think about this, especially if there's gunshots, everyone's just going to scatter like roaches anywhere, right? But if someone does run up to you saying, I need help, I need help, make sure, like, like, hey, what the hell's going on? Like, whatever happened to you, I don't want to happen to me, all right? And then, like you said, try to keep up calm and take those steps. Right? So, like, for today, they had a plan, right? So, people were scheduled at a certain times, so everybody wasn't just like, so we we're going to teach, right? Same thing when you go out um, to try to protect yourself. You have to have a personal protection plan, especially if you have kids. Um, and to answer that real quick, um, when I train women, I tell them two things. One, this, this is my number one weapon, it's my brain. But also, I think one of the things that God gave us more than anything, that is somebody of our intuition. Mm -hmm. I'm telling them, if it doesn't feel right, it's not right. Yeah.